Changing the culture is probably the most complicated, difficult step in all of this. Implementing a new computer system, you can get through that. Putting some machines upstairs with drugs in them, you can get through that. But changing your people and how they feel and how they think and how they practice, that's certainly the most difficult. You may be saying, why am I here? I've been given medicines for 5, 10, 15, 25 years. I never had a serious problem. Everything's gone fine. Why am I at what seems to be an introduction to medication safety? We found in our work that technology facilitates the change effort, but the technology by itself cannot accomplish what we need to accomplish. The cultural side of that, getting people to understand what we're trying to accomplish, getting people to use the methodology to search for solutions is very important. The goal that we have as a medication safety committee, and I hope this would be your goal too, is that we would make every dose of every medicine safe for every patient every time he got that dose. And I want you to begin to feel that kind of trust as well. That if there's something going on in your unit that's not safe for you and it's not safe for patients, particularly as it relates to medication, that you'd let us know. First of all, you guys should all give yourselves a round of applause because pharmacy was number one in reporting by a lot. So, good job. We have seen an increase in reporting of errors and that's actually what we expected and what we hoped for. And we had to train a lot of people to understand that that's okay. And that that doesn't mean you all of a sudden have more errors. What it means is that more people are comfortable in pointing them out. So um, now we got to talk about some mishaps. A uh, couple errors I need to share with you. We had two crash carts go up this week without drugs in them. And one We present God, errors to the staff in the pharmacy department at least wow. once a month. So it's really presented in a way of, you know, here's the data, here's what this means to patients, and how can we work together as a team to prevent this from ever happening again. So, 